the governor of Peru State, the director of works in charge of uh, North Central 2, the House of Assembly officials of Peru State, my workers of Ministry of Works. Your Excellency, let me thank you very much. You've been following us from Abuja because of uh, the love you have for your people. Just a few days you were in my office and uh, we brought out all our rooms in every state and we agreed that I will come and sit down with you. And then I think, um, we agree on the proper you know, procedure uh, of doing it. And I was very excited with your passion for the development of the state. And I assured you, Your Excellency, that all your requests were granted as far back as in my office. And uh, it's that desire that pushed us uh, four days later to be in your state. But the other visit will still happen. But then the next one will you know, depend on your convenience. This road is very important. Yeah, we have uh, all the way from Abuja to uh, Maraba, you know, to Kefi. That is an ongoing road project organization on this 43 kilometer. Um, it's being done by NMPC funding. Uh, whatever was an impediment to the funding, you know, graciously God lifted it and Mr. President has approved uh, in all, you know, the zones of the Federation that the job should uh, go ahead. We notice that uh, we have a lot of hold up, you know, around the beginning of that project. And so I've asked them to go and study because the essence of governance is for the convenience of the people. And so if we have a lot of hold up there, so people can plan. And so we've directed that there is a need to have a, a flyover at that location so that, uh, you know, so we've looked at it. And then we now, from KP to Marco is completed and they're going to tow the roads, but uh, a number of modifications will tow Chada about to bring them board, like the service stations, uh, you know, where we can have a trailers park, vehicles park, you can go for snacks, you go for, you know, fuel and so on. So, they're not there, so they must be there before we start towing the road. The, the, the tow uh, building, the, the, the plaza is not beautiful, so I've said it should be beautiful by the time we have in China, you know, so uh, that is about that. Then this one is 260 kilometers. That one is 220 completed. Uh, some sections are not good, and I've directed they should go back to work, the first five kilometers. But the rest are beautiful. And so where a job is not good, you must go back. back. And where it is good, we commend you. So we refuse the first five kilometers from Kiki, we commend the rest of 100 and uh, 215 kilometers. But that is an excellent uh, map, you know. Now, Your Excellency, on this route, 260 kilometers, is to be done on asphalt. It's been a war with uh, China Harbor. What I prefer is to do concrete or true. But it's like that, defeating me. But it will be complete, you know. So from the roundabout there, sir, you requested for a flyover. We are going to incorporate it. We are going to do it. Yes, because if we are building the road and the people are being inconvenienced, or we finish it and it doesn't solve the problem, so we don't know that. So that uh, flyover is very critical and it's good that we are here to see things for ourselves. And Mr. Uh, Your Excellency, Mr. Governor, uh, we had to do that because of the passion for your people and the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President. Now from Challenge Zero, beginning of the road to here, Compulsorily, it must be done on concrete. On concrete, I've told them, and uh, as we go, that's why I want to go by myself. You know, anyway, we have very bad terrain, we scope it for concrete. You know, it's a uh, no go area. And uh, what we have also said, you know, up to six kilometers, is that we are not going to, we will put our, you know, uh, the middle of the, uh, the divide of the two carriageways at the middle of the existing uh, road. And so we will minimize a lot of compensation. So we take from here 
and we take from there. And then we will now build up the carriageway and minimize a lot of inconveniences and the compensation. And I want to thank you and thank you, Enugu Governor. Uh, I learned you've already set up you know, a task force to assist them in terms of security and uh, other logistics. So we want to thank you. And um, this job is financed by, uh, it is an EPC plus F uh, project. So it's financed by um, you know, China Exim Bank. So the money is there and the project is on dollar, so it will not vary that much. So we are sure of uh, you know, the completion of the project. But you asked a very vital question. When you know, did they mobilize? Because as you are seeing nothing, I'm seeing nothing too. You know, you know, and you cannot see, you will see nothing if you be the governor or you're a governor. So <laughs> the governor is already seeing that nothing much is happening. But I want to assure you from today that things will be happening. You will be very happy with uh, the work progress. And um, when we are doing the scoping, we like your commissioner of works to give him for about two weeks. Two weeks, we will follow them. We will have a team from Ministry of Works, we have a team from the contractor. So we scope the work to know the nature of the existing pavement, to know what you are going to do. But one thing is certain, where the pavement is there and it's strong, it's stable, all we need to do is to keep the asphalt, bring stone base, and then put our pavement, you know, finishing. We are not going to import laterite. Contractors are fond of importing laterite to destroy an existing uh, sub base, base cause, and even sub crates that are very stable. So we've reached that understanding. And we're going to have a very good road. So let me use the opportunity to also thank Mr. President. Just about three days ago, he approved that work should immediately uh, commence in many sections in Abuja, uh, Kaduna, uh, Zaria, Kano route. It's a very good sharing news for me. We were having some problems of funding, but Mr. President has solved that problem and directed for immediate release of funds so that that route will continue. The same thing with the Lagos, a pardon and uh, the second Niger Bridge two bypasses. You know, Mr. President has directed immediate release of money. And you see me, I'm rejoicing like uh, you know, a newborn baby. So, uh, Your Excellency, let me commend you, sir. I don't want to talk about the past, but your state is very beautiful and neat. Thank you, sir. And, uh, the same spirit that you have brought into this state, sir. We we'll support you. We we'll support you. It's all about the people, and the people represent God, and we are here to serve. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank you, sir.